Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanalays at Dawn. I'm your host, Shadow Fury 333, with a exhibition match stream. First off, we're gonna have Flipstep versus Rar on Lonely Oasis. Now, Flipstep is going to be our star of the show tonight. We're gonna have basically all Flipstep games. So it is it Flipstep going for the Spiderbot Factory, while Rar going for the Shieldbot Factory, and this map, Lonely Oasis, I haven't really seen it much. It is clearly very similar to Adansonia in terms of look. It's also... I honestly thought, is this another version of Adansonia? No, no. Adansonia has more of a focus in the center. This just has this tiny little center ridge. And much more of a focus in the edges. Though, it is more spread out. Looks like mostly vehicle... Or, sorry, mostly bot pathable ramps. Not sure if vehicle pathable... These areas probably are, the sections over here, are probably only bot pathable, although even then i got to check. No, they're not! Oh, wow, this is a spider's paradise. I didn't even notice that. There is a bot pathable section over to the sides, but most of this is cliffs. They are not bot pathable. And probably very few of them are vehicle pathable. Interesting. This is likely vehicle pathable. This is likely vehicle pathable. This stuff wouldn't be... Yeah, these would be vehicle pathable. These wouldn't be. And then there's cliffs everywhere, so Flipstep, going for the spiders, because frankly, that's what you just would go for on this map. I don't see any reason to go anything else. I think spiders, maybe jump bots. I can see jump bots. But this is such a cliffy map that spiders make all the sense. And Rar, being very protective of their, of their early constructors, not with their commander right yet, though we will obviously be seeing some... Modification of that, and I just realized I was not set up. How can that be set up? I gave myself 15 extra minutes. Fool. All right, well, at any rate. Thankfully, setting up now, thank you, Sprung, once again, is an easy matter of turning on fact panel, and that's it. Oh, and moving this to better position. That's it. That That is the setup for spec. I would like it if I could have it be just automatic, but you know what? This is pretty darn good. So RAR is going to be moving out with a fairly strong force. Does Flipstep have anything to counter? Yes, they do. They have Venoms, they have Redback coming up. We'll have a Venom. Not many, and... Wow, RAR is focusing a lot on light units right now. Bandits and Dirtbags, they do. They have their commander morphing and everything, but they're not focusing on that as they usually do. This Flea won't be able to do much with the Metal Extractor, sadly, but it is able to get away before the Bandit gets to it. And... Forcing the Bandit to get confused... It fell back. That flea survived. That's that's kind of important. Not super important for fleas, but still it's kind of important. And Rar with the Venom Redback. Sorry, those are with the Venom Redback. Rar getting hit by the Venom. But Rar is spreading around. They've, I think they've learned. I think they've learned their lesson about heavyweight units and not relying on them. Because their commander right now, yeah, they've upgraded the commander. I'll check that after this fight's over. But they've upgraded the commander. They haven't actually done much with the commander yet. Okay, machine gun. Okay, standard commander. That's usually what they go for. Machine gun, base strike commander. That is pretty much their favorite. But yeah, Raw right now, they're... They're moving out in armies with units spreading out everywhere. They aren't playing the commander game they normally play. Which is surprising, but it's probably a little bit surprising for Flipstiff too, because I'm sure they're expecting a bunch of heavyweight stuff, and they aren't... Well, they're not dealing with that, but at the same time, they are adapting. I mean, the Hermits are out, which I don't totally agree with. But they're probably expecting that the Bandits are a feint. And it turns out, no, they're not. The Bandits are real! The Bandits and Dirtbags are totally real. That's actually what's happening. No, the Dirtbags aren't a real threat. The Hermits should be able to get rid of the Bandits that are stunned out. If they're not stunned out, Hermits could tank them well enough. I mean, they'll tank for the Redbacks, that's for sure. So, the Hermits aren't a bad choice. But yeah, right now, Flipstip actually has to worry about Rar using an army. Not just a commander supported by two thugs moving forward. No, they actually have bandits. They actually have... Well, okay, they actually have bandits. Their bags don't even count too much, but they have bandits. They have raiders. They have stuff they can go around the map with to actually deal with everything. Not that they seem... They don't seem to be actually spreading out much, though. I mean, after that first attack over to the eastern side of the map, Rar appears to be pretty content with attacking the north... Pretty much exclusively. Not entirely sure why. Really, I don't understand the entire motivation of this. Because Rar has a lightweight army. 
that doesn't deal well with Venoms directly. But they have a lightweight army. They can move around the map. They can attack at different points. They don't have to be focused on one point. Although it looks like... I think what they're thinking is that Flipstep hasn't really expanded too much. RAR, I don't think, is totally aware of this. And we can check. Oops. No, RAR is not aware of this. They kind of know there's some expansion. They don't know there's no further expansions in that direction. So RAR is not totally aware of what's going on. But what they are aware of is this Venom. They might be aware of the Venom Redback over to the southeast side of the map. They are aware of everything else over to the north. They, I think they're just trying to punch through the north side. Because that is where Flipstep has most of their stuff. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Bit risky, not a terrible idea. And RAR shifted over to, Ro to Rogue Thug. Still upgrading the commander, but they're being much more cautious about it. They certainly aren't going for any sort of cheese. They're not going for any real push that requires just the commander with a bit of support. And that Venom going down thanks to forces on the sides. Hermits with no extra support, nothing to, no redbacks or anything to help get rid of the bandits. So those Hermits are get, they're gone. They're down. That's it. And Flipstip now, kind of unsure. I don't know what they're going to do. They still seem confident about using the Venom Redback Hermit combo, but I don't know. Against this many bandits? I mean, against the Thug, yeah, the Hermits make sense, but Rar's adapted to that. They've... I mean, they got Rogues coming up in a moment. They have Thugs now, which, okay, the Hermits do deal with, but still. The Rogues are going to be a pain in the butt once those get out. Just have to worry about that. Now, Rar, level 4 commander, machine gun, machine gun and lightning gun. And a bunch of health and speed, naturally. That's what they always go for. What do they have right now? 5,700 HP. For a little under the cost of its most striders. So that's, yeah, half cost striders, half a strider. Another upgrade. I mean, it should be pointed out that commanders are always, for like pound for pound for any particular function, they're worse than any strider. They're worse than any major constructor. Like, they're, they're worse pound for pound for any one function. Their strength is in the fact that they do a bunch of different things. Like all those functions in one unit of building, of repairing, of resurrecting sometimes, of attacking, taking a lot of damage. Like they, they have all those functions, but just none of them as good as any of the specialists. Which is as it should be, of course. But at this point, Flipstep at a bit of an economic advantage. Still not sure what to do with these units. Maybe Spider was a bad choice. I mean, for the map, it's not a bad choice, but for this particular matchup, looks like Rars actually kind of got a way out of this but we'll see this is actually the moment of truth i don't know why i was talking right before that happened because this battle here is the moment of truth oh right, right, right sorry sprung pointing out that i'm miscounting i've got to subtract 1200 from the cost so this is actually only costing 2375 which is roughly a demi strider cost and it's roughly demi strider strength well with the repairs and everything if you had a hypothetical strider that had repair and attacks and construction ability you would have this Where's... There we go. Infiltrator. So I say, where's the Infiltrator? Or possibly Crab, but mostly Infiltrator. Crab's not really going to be handy in this situation. The Infiltrator's going to kick all the butts. And... Oh no, that Rogue's going to spot it first, but still got in. Unfortunately... Well, okay, actually. Fortunately and unfortunately, there are no bandits left. Fortunately, there's no bandits left, so the Hermits get some free shots. Unfortunately, there's no Redbacks or Rogues left. Sorry, so Redbacks and... Venom's left, that's what I meant to say. Rogues are also not here, there's one. Which is also good. That's actually a fortunate thing. And Rar's commander is pretty much dead. The Venom's got it locked... Does it have it locked down? Just about locked down. Well, the commander's still basically dead. Even the 55... 55 health per second regen doesn't matter. Commander goes down... Ooh, that was nice. I mean, it's an explosion, so I'm not sure if it should be dropping down like that. But you know what? That was a cool death animation. I didn't realize that was that added death animation to the Strike Commander. That is awesome. Maybe not perfect, but still a really good thing to have. I guess a general idea. I can totally see it. And now at this point, with Rar lost their commander, now that Rar's lost their commander, they have lost a lot of ground. I mean, Flipstep has taken the southeast area. They're getting an amphib plant. They have the center pretty much on lock. So mobility for RAR is highly restricted. If they want to go through the center, they have to fight through it. If they want to go through the northwest, they're probably going to have to fight for it very shortly. 
And Flipstep's economy is now three times RAR's. It just after RAR lost their commander, they were focusing so much on that fight. Flipstep, they weren't focusing on that fight at all. I was focusing far more on the fight than Flipstep was because Flipstep, I guess they figured, I've won that fight. I mean, they knew they won that fight, so they went off and started expanding, building up a bunch of other stuff, getting their economy going, getting this Lampet plant going, not worrying about it. I'm guessing a Grizzly is in order, but there's also an Air Factory, which has just been finished, and Thunderbird coming up as well, just in case. If a Shield Ball does come up, which it is not apparently going to. Rar's got a lot of Racketeers, very focused on disabling, not very focused on building up a Shield Ball to deal with the... Sh the well, I mean, the Spiders... Yeah, they can see a Shield Ball working okay. I guess the Crab is not the best idea, but against all these light units that are being pulled out, yeah. Your standard Outlaw Thug Shield Ball? Felon support would be a little bit risky, but the rest of it, yeah, that's fine. And even Felon support would be fine, you just have to make sure you only target the Venoms and Redbacks. And Fleas. But everything else, it's actually fine. So yeah, that's... That's going to be really tough for RAR. I think RAR might not have an easy... RAR does not have an easy way out of this, that's for sure. We're seeing boys, we're not seeing Grizzlies at all. We are seeing boys, we are seeing Swifts just in case. RAR coming into the Jump Bot Factory, probably for Firewalker support. Because you usually get the Firewalker Assist. That's a typical thing. Where is that flea attacking? I hear a flea and it's bugging me. Oh, there it is. Yeah, RAR's own commander. What level is that? Two? Yeah, it's only been upgraded once. And Thunderbird not able to do much. Racketeer stopping that in his tracks. Ironically, given what the Thunderbird is meant to do. But yes, the Thunderbirds can't... The Thunderbirds themselves are getting disarmed here. The Racketeer army is being a pain. Granted, this will still be of some help. Boy coming in here to deal with... Well, deal with mostly the Stardust. The rest of it, not the biggest deal. But yeah, get rid of the Stardust. Deal with that. Deal with the rest of this base. How long are these disarmed for? Another few seconds. So I don't think Flipsip's going to win with this attack. But they're putting so much pressure on that it's basically just a matter of... the. The next or after that next wave. Like one or two waves from now, if RAR has nothing pulled out of their sleeve, which I don't know what they'll pull out of their sleeve. I mean, the thing is, the commander is kind of the thing you'd pull out of your sleeve. They have the Firewalker, yes, but that's going to take way too long. Like, maybe if they push everything into it, and even then, I don't know. Like, if they stop building this thug, just build the Firewalker, focus entirely on burning out this boy setup, I guess, that's because they say the spiders, but the spiders aren't the only threat. There's a bunch of threats. There's boys, there's spiders, there's Thunderbirds that are coming in, there's Swifts for extra harassment goodness. There's a Wyvern, because why not? I mean, that'll get rid of the Firewalker, no problem. And the fleet... Oh, Flipster, does they... Do they have knowledge of this? They do not. But they know that there's something being built. They know that something's happening, they don't know what. And RAR appears to be not quite realizing that they are actually using a bunch of money into their Shieldbot factory and should probably stop. And... Uh, what? Really? A sea factory. Well, Flipzip has the cash. They got 100 metal right now. They might as well. Though, quite frankly, that's just cherry tapping. How long? 30 seconds left. All right, so this is 30 seconds. This... Actually, what's the priority? Priorities are not changed. But the Farwalker, with 20 seconds left, will be able to at least do some damage here. But still, there's a shipyard coming up. A shipyard. Because why not? I mean, this map does have water, you almost might as well, but still. What are we getting here? What What are they building? I mean, they're clearly building something behind RAR's base. Either they're terraforming up a ramp? Oh no, bu building a stinger. Apparently. I don't know, that doesn't appear to be the final plan, but still, what the heck? Flipstep's just playing with RAR at this point. Although, the Thunderbird, Thunderbird's hit was good. That was a really good hit. Flipstep appears to be confirming, moving in with their main army, and that will finish this off. Firewalker's up, that'll help, but still, no, not enough. Even with the boys coming in here. It'll help a lot, though, but... These forces, Rar's forces are gonna have a really hard time getting away with this. Or getting away from this, I should say. Flipstep... I don't know. Flipstep getting disarmed very hard. The fire is actually causing problems. So maybe this isn't going to work as well as I thought it would. However, there is something going on. There is a conference of constructors over in the southwest side of the map. I don't really see that being an 
issue yet because they haven't actually started building anything. I'm not sure what they're trying to build. Clearly they're trying to build something, but I have no idea what. Thunderbird's coming in along for additional disarmament, but yeah, they're just getting to disarm themselves once again. The irony of the disarmed Thunderbird. Why are these boys not moving in, though? These boys can handle a lot of damage. And slow everything down and just tear everything to shreds. I don't know why they aren't going in. Ah, okay, there is the stinger. So that is the stinger. That is the plan. I don't really know why. I guess it does harass a bit. It's a bit of a jerk move, honestly. Like, at this point, it's just... Like I said, what are you supposed to do? I was half expecting a terraformed ramp at the back of Rar's base, but apparently no. Stinger is instead the option of choice. And that Firewalker, but those Firewalker balls do not quite hit. But at this point, I think the bigger the bigger benefit of that is the distraction it causes. All of Rar's forces are inside of their base. Flipstep can now finish this off. They can go up the ramp right now, pretty much. And once they get their forces up the ramp, that's going to be it. And a reef. Wow, how long is it? This is not going to take very long, is it? Oh, never mind. It's a warlord. I wanted to see a reef. I don't think I've ever seen a reef in... Oh, never mind. There's a reef. No, it's not in a construction. I was like, I want to see a reef. I wanted to see an actual bona fide reef. But that does not appear to be what they're building. I am disappointed. I wanted the reef. That would have been cool. I mean, really, that would, like, how often do you ever see a reef in 1v1? 15 minutes into the game. I mean, granted, Flipstep has the entire map, and it just hasn't pushed into win yet, because they're focused entirely on building up this Warlord. And ultimately, hopefully, the Reef, because I really want to see that build. Like, you don't see Reefs very much, but... In 1v1, but it's like... I mean, you don't see Warlords very much either, but the last time this sort of thing happened, it was all Warlords. It was on in Cult of Wet. It was like half an hour into the game. Both players just started building Warlords. It's actually a 2v2, not a 1v1. But then it was just a bunch of Warlords. But like, how often do you see a Reef? Uh, then again, I suppose that's why you would build a Warlord. Holy crap! Okay, that's... That answers the question, but the Warlord might want to move away rather than trying to just tear down the wall, which is not going down. That terrain is not being deformed quickly enough. That's a really hard piece of rock. Or sand, actually. It's a really hard beach. Ah, there we go. Now the hits are actually making contact. And Rar throws in the towel. Warlord... Warlord Diplomacy. At its finest. Now, that it was that. We're gonna have another match between them. Oh, apparently Warlord has a high trajectory option, which is apparently how... Oh, that's why! That works too! Terraform the Warlord onto a giant platform! There you go! Okay, so... Yeah, that was interesting. I mean, it, we kind of could tell it was lost when Rar lost their commander. That was a really good infiltrator, by the way. That is the counter to that sort of commander for Spider. That is great. Because that just did it. That did the trick. That finished it off. Lipstick took the rest of the map in the meantime, and Rar didn't have anything else to follow up with. I was saying before, commanders are kind of your backup option. Like, they're fairly strong, but not super strong. I mean, they aren't great super late into the game, but if you want to have something where you go, Oh crap, I've lost a bunch of stuff. I have my commander. You can rebuild, you can repair, you can reclaim. You can morph it up into something that at least keeps you going while your army gets there behind you. It's not the most powerful comeback option, but when you lose it right out of the gate, and you didn't have much of an army other than that... That's really putting all your eggs in one basket. I can't think of any game I've actually seen Rar win with that commander in a while. Like, a couple times with Cheese, but yeah, it doesn't seem to really pan out. Just on the whole. So anyway, we're going to have another match, and it is going to be Flipstep against Rar, and it's going to be on La Isla Bonita. So hopefully it is going to be... less lopsided, I suppose? <laughs> We'll see how that goes. Stay tuned for that. It'll be up in just a moment.